Hello and welcome to Thoughtful Thursdays. My name is Angela. This is a new month and a new beginning and so therefore a new book and a new topic of discussion. This month we're going to be focused on Bearing the Unbearable um, by Joanne Cacciatore. It is a book that is going to help us focus on how do you process grief. And yes, I understand that's a very difficult topic for many people um, because it has to deal with death, the death of a loved one, the death of someone very close to you. And uh, there are those who may not be ready to um, broach that topic, but I am going to encourage you to do so anyway. I'm going to encourage you to use the strength of all of us collectively to approach a very difficult topic and use the collective energy of all of us trying to maneuver through this challenging space together. And so um, I'm not gonna speak too long tonight except to introduce the book. For those who are following along, I ask that you read at least the first 10 chapters. They're really small, short chapters, so you should be able to do it. But if you can't, also just get through as much as you can. Um, uh, it is, I know, and I apologize. It, it is a tough and challenging topic. And there are a lot of us who lost a great deal. And I know, at least for me, I have been practicing avoidance versus trying to process it. And what God has placed upon my heart is that avoidance is not the key. Because if you know anything about avoidance and suppressing feelings, suppressing anything, it doesn't mean that you dealt with it. It doesn't mean that you healed. It doesn't mean that it went away. It means that it's just in a state until such time as it finds a way to break through. And if it has to find a way to break through, if that pain has to find a way to break through um, by itself versus a natural and healthy process of you recognizing it, addressing it, acknowledging it, dealing with it, healing from it, it will pop up at the most inopportune time. It will pop up in a way where it will um, cause a break in your life, in your mental capacity. However it needs to come out, it is going to come out. Um, and I've experienced that. I have experienced that in multiple times in my life. And so I am grateful to God for this opportunity to practice um, processing grief and pain in a healthy manner versus trying to suppress it. But I am encouraging each and every person who wants to do that to do it with me. Um, and I love you and I appreciate you. And I am wondering, um, excuse me, not wondering, I just saw my granddaughter pass by. Um, and I am um, encouraging you to do this with me. You do not have to be alone. The book I have read in reviews is an amazing book. Let's try to figure out how to use our collective energy to process all the things that we have lost and move forward um, to whatever is going to be on the other side. Because I understand and I am grateful for being a person of faith that every valley also has a, a, a mountaintop. Um, there is no... Um, there is no summer without winter. There is um, a, a season where you sow and it's a season where you plant. Um, things to, in order to fill abundance need to be pruned away. Um, th th this is a natural process of life to experience loss. Um, but that loss is never um, freely we never freely say, yes, Lord, bring me loss. Take someone away from me. Uh, no one does that. 
Um, but it happens and because it happens, we have to deal with it. And so I am asking and encouraging you to read the book with me, follow along with me this month. It's going to be very raw. It's going to be very transparent. It's going to be uh, very emotional, but we will do it together. Uh, and it is challenging, but, um, we will do it together. I will talk to you soon. Bye.